hey guys and welcome back in today's video what we're gonna be doing is basically putting together this um, microphone that I made for um, the UBX um, if you don't know what the UBX is it is a um, ham radio kit and basically in the kit you just get a big PCB and uh, Arduino based PCB which is um, the Raduino but also you get a button and you get a microphone element this microphone element they say go ahead make a microphone out of it and you will be like okay how can you make a microphone with just a microphone and a button you have to do what I did and design a case so the way that I made this uh, microphone is that I designed it based on an existing microphone which is the easiest way to go and that microphone is this one this is a Baofeng microphone that you can buy uh, of eBay or Amazon and what I did is take this microphone and shrink it in half basically only this half from there to there um, so as you can see it's about if you were to see it um, properly together it will be about the same thickness but it's only um, like about half of the width what we have to do today is uh, first um, sand it because uh, it a lot of the edges are very rough and then after that I uh, just have to wire everything in place you get one of these um, cables that have two ends which are the same uh, 3.5 millimeter jacks and you take the wire and you cut it in half basically like cut it in half and with that you're gonna be able to wire this um, microphone so yeah I just realized I didn't explain at all what these parts are basically these are the three parts of the, the case of the microphone so the microphone will go in here and then I push it down then this is the push to talk push to talk means that um, you push it and then you talk <laughs> uh, this is gonna go in here then this, this push to talk goes in here and then this lever goes into the hole and then pushes on the on the push to talk so basically goes like that and then this part is also held um, with this hole over here then this these terminals are gonna be soldered to a cable here coming in here also another part that I didn't show at all is there is another part that goes in this um, channel here and it is this part over here which I also need to clean basically you put it put it here and if I pull the wire this way um, it's, it shouldn't come out because um, this is gonna be holding holding it in place with a lot of pressure so that's a good thing also I left another space here that is that you can tie the wire and then um, put it uh, in here and then clamp it in place so if you pull it it does nothing happens to it okay so I have stripped my wire here and I'm gonna show you a way that you can find um, which wire is which for this connection so here I have my multimeter so Mr. Multimeter here has a function that if you go um, to resistance and then go to beeping if you touch the connections it, it will tell you basically which connection is um, tied to which so I'm gonna test the first one now this first one is supposed to be connected to the um, to the positive of the microphone so I'm gonna test this first one and I'm gonna press this yeah so we know that is this one now make sh you can also make sure that it's not tied to other connections so no no yes now this second one is the po the positive for the push to talk or basically where the the push to talk is going to go. So if I press this one it should be this one. 
Uh, now we're gonna go now to the ground. This I'm sure that this is the ground because it's black here in the in the cable. There you go. So that tells us that this is the ground. This is gonna be the push to talk, and this is gonna be the um, the one for the microphone. So in the microphone, I don't know if you can see it. The, it has two connections one here and another one here this one here is the ground you can see that it has three leads going to ground and then the other one doesn't have any leads um, the ground is basically going to be the casing of the microphone so you can see it here connected to there so that, that's going to tell you that that's, that's the ground the other one is the positive what i'm going to do is come with the ground from here to there and then also to the this position of the push to talk then this will go to the push to talk here and then this one I need to short it short it so it can go um, to positive with the microphone so first I think I'm gonna see if I can make a knot so it's gonna sit like that what I'm gonna do is just put this one now so I know that this is not gonna go running on me and there that should be good it shouldn't pull it at all which is awesome. So what I'm gonna do first is thin my connections. This microphone has a little bit of solder there. I would rather put a little bit more, just make sure that that one is new. I cannot bend this wire. That should be good. So that one is soldered to the positive. I'm sure you guys are not gonna be able to see this. But I'm um, thinning the back here so I can solder to it. <laughs> Alright boys and girls, I got it uh, soldered. Um, as you can see, this connection is actually um, soldered here. Then um, I left enough wire so I can come up here and solder it to here the other one I was able to solder it all the way at the back now what I'm gonna do is push this one out to the side uh, oh jeez I wanna push it all the way to the side right uh, because there's gonna be a part that is gonna be coming down and pushing onto this one so none of the wires move uh, which is this part over here great we have this properly placed here clamping the wires the wires are not gonna move anything this cannot move at all this is soldered to the ground ground and then this is soldered to um, positive and this is soldered to the other side then i'm gonna put this here this is the button so i have my three screws here which go at the back I can go or like this and now it works fine uh, uh, I'm gonna make sure first that this the push to talk button works um, in the way that is intended so as it is intended this is supposed to be connected between ground and the second one uh, and if I press the push to talk yeah that should be good so we have the microphone built um, it works fine PTT works fine as we tested in the uh, with the multimeter so I'm gonna put right now a test that um, is between this microphone that is a USB microphone and this microphone now mind you this doesn't have any um, internal electronics other than the microphone itself so there's gonna be some noise so listen to it right now and you will be able to just get a, an impression of how it sounds this is what the microphone of the UPDX sounds like it's not a gr it's not great 
but it's also not bad either it's pretty good um, it's pretty good just to, just to be some random microphone element it's not bad it has some um, noise and um, uh, but yeah this works um, but it's a simple design that you can um, make uh, in 3d print even if you don't have a 3d printer you can find someone that has a 3d printer around you they're super cheap right now and a lot of people just buy them so you could it, the, the chances are very high that you can find someone that can 3d print it for you but yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget that the um the files are gonna be in the description below if you want to have this printed or if you want to print it yourself other than that you just need um five screws um these are these screws are 440 something like that screws they fit super well if not you can find um m3 screws and they have to be about maybe i don't know maybe 10 millimeters long uh eight millimeters long something like that it, it doesn't really matter to be honest um as long as they are not longer than the the case itself it should be fine other than that i don't have anything to say and thank you guys so much for watching this is angel and 73